Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in part five of my how to draw an animated Batman scene series, I wanna show you how to draw Batman's mouths and then I wanna show you how to lip sync those using the opacity settings in Grease Pencil's layers menus. So this will be a lot simpler than the time offset modifier video that I previously did. I think this will simplify things and will be a much quicker process. In the next video, I'll show you how to set up drivers for that so you can even work within the viewport, which will even speed up the process more. But by the end of this video, you'll still be able to use what I'm gonna to do to easily lip sync without needing to understand drivers or set that up. So that's just an additional option you can have. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and let's get started. Thanks. So here I am in Grease Pencil in the file I ended the last video with. So if I click on the viewport rendered option, you can see what that looks like. And you can't see the cartoon lines in this because freestyle doesn't show up in the viewport, but if I render this, you can see what that looks like. So here we are with the cartoon lines. So I wanna close this out. So you can see I currently have a mouth on Batman and that's integrated in the existing Batman grease pencil object. So if I click on Batman and then I switch over to draw mode, and I go to Grease Pencil Properties, you can see our layers here. So you can see the mouse exists on keyframes, and I was using that in a previous video series showing how to use the time offset modifier to create the mouse. I feel like that setup is a little bit complicated, although it works well. So I wanted to come up with something a little better, and I think this option does. So to get started with this, I wanna click the mouth layer and hit the minus button here to delete it. Then we'll go to Object Mode, and I'm gonna hit Shift A to bring up my Add Menu, and we'll go to Grease Pencil Blank. Now I'm going to double click on that and change it to mouth. And I'm going to drag that up into my other collections with Batman. And then I want to go to edit preferences and I want to click on add-ons and then go to the search menu and type in image. Now I currently have this selected, but I want you to go ahead and enable it too. It's a add-on that comes with Blender. And when you import an image right now, you only have two options, which are reference and background. This option, when checked, allows you to import images as a third option, which is a plane. And I feel that's a lot more versatile to use. So if you don't have that enabled, go ahead and enable it by checking the box next to it and close out of this. So now I'm hit Shift A on my keyboard again, and I wanna to go to Image, and now I see Images as Planes. Click on that, and this will allow you to navigate to where your images are. And I've already got a mouth chart that I'm gonna bring into this, so I'm gonna double click here. You can see it's really small. So I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard to scale it up. I'm gonna hit G to grab it and bring it over. So I'm gonna draw the mouths on the mouth layer that I just created. I'm gonna use this mouth chart as a guide. And then I'll bring the mouth chart over to the right to use it as a reference for when I wanna lip sync. Okay, now I'm gonna scroll in. And I'm gonna click on the mouth layer that I created and I'm gonna go to draw mode. And you can see if we click on the Grease Pencil Properties here in the Properties window, we only have one layer. That's the GP layer. It created it when I created the object. So I'm gonna double click on that name and change it to one closed mouth. I'm gonna draw my first mouth on there, but first I wanna make a few changes. So if I go to the Materials menu, click on that, you can see we only have one material set up, and that's the black stroke. So I'm gonna double click on that and change the name to Lines. Now I'm gonna click the plus button, click new, and we'll change the name to teeth, and we'll uncheck stroke, check fill, and change that black to white. Now we'll click the plus icon again to add another one, click new. Click on the material name and change that to tongue. And we'll uncheck stroke, check fill, and we'll change this to a red color. And as you've heard me talk about in the past, if you watch my other videos, that I really like using the material system for Grease Pencil instead of the color attribute system because I wanna be able to change my colors in the future. So right now I'm just picking this tongue color at random, but if I decide later I want a specific color, if I change it here, it'll change all my other drawings. So it's a really beneficial process to use this way. So I'm gonna click plus one more time, click new, and I'm gonna type in mouth background. I'm gonna uncheck stroke, check fill, and I'm gonna leave that black. So now we have our four colors. So now with the closed mouse selected, I'm gonna go back to object mode, and I know if I click on Batman, he's currently at zero on the Y. And I wanna change that because I want the mouse to be slightly in front of him. 
So if I click on mouth and I want to change this to minus 0.1, if I go to draw mode and I click on materials and choose the lines material, that draws correctly. So the last thing I want to do is go back to object mode. I'm going to click on mouth, then I'm going to click on Batman, then I'll hit Control P and select object. So now you see the mouth layer disappeared. So if I click on the drop down next to Batman, you can see the mouth is under that now. So now they're parented. So if I move Batman, I move the mouth with it. So then even though we have two separate grease pencil objects, they're always together. So I'm going to make sure mouth is selected. And I'm going to go back to draw mode. I want to make sure I have my lines material. And I'm going to click on grease pencil object. And I've got closed mouth selected, so I'm going to draw that mouth. Also, I'm going to increase the radius to 24. Okay, I think that looks good for the first one. So next thing I want to do is click the plus button here twice to create two layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the line work on one layer. Then we'll do the fill on a separate layer. And then when required, I'll do the tongue and the background on a separate layer. Then I'll merge them together to create one drawing because I only want one mouth per mouth on the chart. But I want to have some flexibility when I'm drawing it. So I'm going to do it in different layers and then merge it together. So due to that, I'm not going to bother naming the layers until after I merge them. So before I do that, I want to click on the opacity and drag that down to lighten that up because I want to use it as a guide for my next mouth, but I don't want it causing me to have drawing problems. So I'm going to click on the top layer, scroll in, and I want to draw the outline of the second mouth. Okay, now I'm going to click on the next layer, and I'm actually going to hit the plus symbol and create another layer. So on the second layer, I'm going to go to my materials, select teeth, go back to my layer, and I'm going to draw those teeth. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the third layer, and I'm going to change my material to mouth background, fill this in. Okay, I'm going to click back on the middle layer, which is the white layer, and I'm going to change to sculpt mode. I'm going to select the grab brush, and I'm going to lock the top layer and the bottom layer, and then I'm going to drag this white layer over just a little bit, then unlock those. Then I'm going to go back to draw mode. I think that looks good. So I'm going to click the top layer, click this drop down, and click Merge Down, and then click Merge Down again. Now I've got the one layer. I'm going to double click on the name and change it to Two Closed Teeth. And then I'm going to click this arrow here to bring it underneath. So I'm going to go back to the mouth chart. So to do that, I'm going to click on Object Mode, click the mouth chart to grab it, and I'm going to bring that up so I can see the next three mouths. I want to select the mouth layer. I want to go back to Draw Mode. So this next mouth has four layers. So I've got the tongue, the black background, the white teeth, and the outline. So over here, I'm going to click the plus icon four times to create four layers. And I'll click on the closed teeth one I just did, and I'm going to bring that opacity down. And then I'm going to turn off the closed mouth because I don't need to see it right now. So I'm going to draw the outline for the third mouth. So I'm going to make sure I go to Materials, select Lines, and I'm going to draw that. Okay, that's my first layer. I'm going to select my next layer, and I'm going to draw in the teeth, so I'm going to change to the white material. Okay, next, I'm going to select the next one and click my tongue material. Go to the next layer and click my black material. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my grease pencil properties. I'm going to click the first layer I drew on. I'm going to click here and say merge down. I'm going to do that three more times. Now I've got that layer. So I'm going to change that name to 3 Open Mouth. And I'm going to click this arrow to bring it down. So I'm going to turn off my closed teeth. So now I have this one to go by. And I'm going to click the opacity and bring that down a little bit. So I'm going to do four layers on this one because I have the outline, the teeth, the tongue, and the back layer. So I'm going to click this four times. Click the first one. Make sure I'm in Lines Material. I'm going to draw the outline of this one. I'm going to click the next layer. I'm going to choose my white teeth. I'm going to draw those. I'm going to draw the bottom ones. Click the next layer, draw the tongue. I'm going to be a little messy with this because I know the tongue layer is behind the white layer. Now I'll click the next one, choose the black material. 
Okay, you notice the bottom teeth have a black outline around them, separating them from the tongue. So I'm going to go back to my lines. I'm going to click the top layer, and I'm going to change to my lines. And I'm going to scroll in and draw that line. So I'm going to go back to the Grease Pencil Properties, and I'm going to lock the top two layers and the last layer, and select the bottom one, which is the tongue. I want to go to Sculpt Mode. And I've already got the grab bar selected, so I'm going to kind of bring this up a little bit. Now I'm going to go to the Smooth tool and smooth that out just a little. Let me go back to Draw Mode. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to unlock these. I'm going to click on the first one, hit Merge Down, Merge Down, Merge Down. I'm going to double click on that, change it to 4, open mouth bigger. I'll bring this over so we can see the name. I'm going to grab that mouth chart and bring it up. Okay, so you've seen me do these. I'm going to use the same process for the remaining mouse. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up, but it's the same process for every one. You create four different layers if you need them. So the number five will have four layers, one for the background, one for the tongue, the teeth, and the outline. Number six will only have two layers, one for the strokes and then one for the teeth, and then merge them down and then name them. So I'm going to speed this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've added all the mouths, and you can see on the right side of the screen how I've got those organized. The numbers and the name match up with the numbers and the name on the mouth chart. I'm going to use the mouth chart visually to look at this and then make changes to the layers in order to lip sync Batman. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to click on the mouth chart, and I'm currently in object mode. I'm going to hit G to grab it, and I'm going to bring it over outside the viewport. I'm going to scroll in so I can get a better look at Batman. Then I'll click on the mouth chart, hit S to scale it and bring it down, G to grab it, bring it up. Okay, so now I can clearly see the mouth chart. And if I click on mouth, I can clearly see my mouth layers. And I'm going to drag this up. So all I need for this is the mouth chart and the opacity for the layers. And before I start lip syncing, I need to do a couple of things. And the first thing I want to do is click on Edit Preferences. And then under the Animation tab, you'll see at the bottom Default Interpolation. Typically this is at Bezier. The quickest way to do the lip sync that I want to show you is to change this to Constant. So how Bezier works is if I change the opacity from 1 to 0 over a period of frames, the mouth will slowly fade away. But Constant means if I have the mouth at 0 opacity on frame 1, and then on frame 10, I change it to full opacity, 1. It'll be at 0 until I get to 9, and then at 10, it's back to 1. So that's what we want, because we don't want to fade. We just want to you know, do drawing substitutions or lip sync so that one mouth disappears and the other one reappears without any kind of fade between them. So I want to change default interpolation to constant for this. And you can always change it back after you're done with your lip sync process. So I'm going to close out of that. Now the next thing I want to do is include some audio. So I'm going to click on the timeline icon at the bottom, and I'm going to change that to video sequencer. And I'm going to go to add, and I'm going to go to sound. And I've already got a sound ready. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to move it over a little bit because I don't want it to start immediately. It ain't easy being cheesy. OK, so there's our Batman voice. I'm going to click here, change it to timeline. The last thing I want to do is if I go to playback, I want to click on that. We currently don't have scrubbing enabled. So I want to click that to enable it so I can scrub through the timeline and hear the audio as I do it. So let me see what that sounds like. OK, so you can see that audio is working. OK, so now I want to go to the mouth object. And I want to click on these. I want to turn them all on. So now I've turned all my mouths on, and the opacity is at 1 for each mouse. You can see we can see all of them at once. So I'm going to go through and turn the opacity down on all of these. And I'm going to keep the closed mouth available. So now only the closed mouth is showing. So I'm going to click on each one again and set a keyframe by clicking this icon next to the opacity. 
Okay, now if I scroll through the timeline, you see the only mouth available is the closed one. So I'm going to go to the first part of the audio, and that's an eh sound. So here I'm going to turn on auto keyframing right here. Then I'm going to turn off the closed mouth, and I'm going to turn on the eh sound, which is three. So I'll click on it, bring that up. Now you can see if I scroll back, it's turned off the closed mouth and added the eh one. So what I have to do to lip sync is change the opacity of these while we have auto keyframing on. So I want to scroll through the next one. That's a T sound. So I'm going to turn off open mouth and I'll click seven and turn it on. Now if I scroll back, you can see it changes. So now the A sound. So I'm going to turn off this one and I'll turn on three. I'm going to turn this one off and turn on an N sound. So that's two. I'm going to turn that up. So I'm going to turn this one off and I'm going to turn on the T. So I'm going to do seven again. I'm going to go with E. So I'm going to turn that off and turn on E, which is three. So easy. So I'm going to turn this off and turn on, I don't really have a Z, so I'm going to go with 9. I'm going to turn that off and then I'm going to turn on the 3. So I'm going to turn this off and turn on closed. So I'm going to leave closed mouth on, so it's B, so let's get to the next one. So I'm going to turn on the E sound, which is 3. I'm going to turn off closed mouth. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn on the N sound, which is 2. I'm going to turn that off and turn on the CH sound. I'm going to turn that off and turn on E. I'm going to turn that off. We don't have a Z sound, so I'm going to turn on 9. I'm going to turn that off and turn on E. I'm going to turn that off and turn on closed mouth. I'm going to play this back. It ain't easy being cheesy. Okay, you could probably work on this a little bit to make it a little cleaner and smoother, but I think for this purpose, it works pretty good. And again, I've done some other lip syncing videos in the past. I feel like the setup on this one is just so much easier than those, and you don't have to deal with like setting up keyframes for the time offset modifier. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add drivers to this, so then you can control it all from within the viewport on top of the mouth chart and we'll be doing on and off switches so you can just slide those back and forth and it's a little more interactive than having to look at the mouth chart and then doing the layers opacity and i think that'll conclude after that video this series and then i'll create an animation using batman and robin with these techniques so hopefully you found this video helpful if so please like and subscribe so i can keep providing content like this and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching it ain't easy being cheesy